Do you ever need to delete all Chinese characters from a document? And you don't want to do it by hand, moving character by character or line by line? Well, there's a simple technique to do so. You can do this with only a few keystrokes without having to scroll through a 400 page document. This is a task you probably don't often need, but from time to time you do. And at those times, you wish you were able to do this simply. So here is how you do it. My own motivation for this came from working with subtitles to a video of a lecture. I was helping somebody with the subtitling and then the translation from Chinese into English. And even though the video was in Chinese, the Chinese subtitles were very useful because the speaker was speaking with a bit of an accent, and he was also talking about quite technical issues about manuscripts and inscriptions, so it was definitely useful to have the Chinese subtitles. But of course, we also needed the English ones for those viewers who did not understand Chinese. So I wanted to give the audience the option to be able to select the language of the subtitles, and for that, I needed to have a file with just the Chinese subtitles and another one with just the English ones. So the obvious solution was to delete one of the languages. To create the English version, I had to delete the Chinese text for every single segment. And since this was a 150 page file, it meant a couple of hours of work to go through each segment and delete the Chinese line from it. This worked pretty well, but it took forever and was quite dull. And so I thought this was a task I should definitely automate. So I decided to write a macro for deleting the line and then assign it to a shortcut and then go through the document segment by segment, deleting each line I did not want. This sped up the process a bit because I did not have to select each line and then hit delete. I could just do this with my keyboard shortcut, which then automatically did all of these tasks together. But it was still time consuming, and so I had to look for a more elegant solution. And after a bit of searching, I found out how to do this. So first of all, I had to open it once again in Word, because as a text file, you only have very limited resources to work with it. Whereas in Word, you have all sorts of options to manipulate the file. You can execute search and replace commands and, and other things. So here's the file. And essentially, all I had to do is hit Control H for find and replace, and then put this string into the find window, which indicates Chinese characters. And if you click here on more, you need to click wildcards because it only works as wildcards. It's basically what it means is it's going to find every single Chinese character. And you replace it with what? With nothing. And then you hit replace all. And then it replaces every single Chinese character with nothing. So basically deletes all the Chinese characters. And that's it. So it's very, very simple. And then, of course, you can replace the empty line here. But in some places, it's not going to be empty because there would be like numbers in it and so forth. But that's a different story. My point here is that you can just use this command. So you hit Control H. Uh, you type this in or you copy this in and then you click use wildcards and then replace all and that's it. And there are no more Chinese characters in your file. And of course, there are other applications. This is just what I used it for two days ago, but you can use it for something completely different. For example, if you write an article and the journal that you submit it to says that we don't accept Chinese characters there, so everything has to be in pinyin, then you obviously already have the pinyin, but then you would have Chinese characters after it. And then you can just say, OK, if it's a long article, I can just go and replace all Chinese characters with nothing. Or you would say that you want to find every single Chinese character and so you can basically use the same kind of command, but instead of hitting control H, you hit control F. So you basically type in the same thing. And to click the use wildcards, you need to open the advanced find window. Then you click use wildcards. And from there on, you can find next and it's going to find the next Chinese character. And then you hit find next and then it finds the next one and so forth like this.
So you basically step through every single Chinese character in your document. And that's actually useful on many levels because you may remember a Chinese text. And since this document is mostly in English, and maybe it's like a thousand pages long, but then you can use this method to step through the Chinese characters and find something much easier. So you don't have to scroll through this enormous file to do that. Okay, so this is basically what I wanted to show. And I think many people might know how to do this. I personally did not know this technique. And I'm very glad that I found out how to do this because it's going to save me some time. And I'm going to definitely start using it from now on. All right, so thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.